the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody, Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back into Planet Zoo. So guys, we are picking up where we left off. We had the first look and now we're actually gonna jump in and get some gameplay going, man. So y'all can really see what the game looks like. Yo, Planet Zoo is an amazingly detailed game. It's great and I'm enjoying this beta time that we get to play before it drops in November, all right? But we're gonna jump into this scenario and get it crackling, get these three stars. And that way you can also see a a developed fleshed out zoo versus the barren zoo that we're gonna start with when we start the series and we will start the series start doing it from scratch I custom build everything all right let's do it ah hey yo at Hema too yeah yeah oh, oh sorry about that I I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language <laughs> it's good to finally meet you in person I'm Bernard Although I insist you call me Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> Ooh, and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my the home. This is the first zoo I ever the opened people. and a source of great pride for me. And pride, and thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. But we're in the middle of a big Ooh. renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old nice. contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Uh, poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, it's up to you to finish everything off. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker. And she'll expect you to be too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire, or even better, <laughs> one that isn't on fire. Like a house on Less fire. shouting that way. That's beautiful. <laughs> Hello there. What From up, Nancy? That rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. I am. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because I we're am. about to get really hands on. Ooh. But before we begin the real work, uh -huh. how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it okay. and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Okay. All right, all right. So we in here like swim wheel. We're going to go over to this habitat. And as you can see, this is already a beautifully, beautifully constructed and crafted zoo. This, he said this is his first zoo. So yeah, you, you can see the, the possibilities. Oops, I'm clipping through walls and what not. And like I said, the roller coaster game is basically this this same look, the same architecture. They kind of just took the engine and they did a zoo. I mean, it's already there, the framework was there. So we are at this grizzly bear habitat. I'm gonna go through this. If it runs longer than I wanted to, I may... Um, Given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> I may break this up into two parts if it Select runs long. one of the bears and you'll bring up its information panel. Okay, let's see the information panel, guys. Yeah, as I said, I may break this up if it runs long um, into two parts for this tutorial, but we're gonna go through the tutorial. Look at how beautiful this looks, man. Look at this bear. Look at Smokey. Look at Smokey the bear. Find out all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. Overall welfare. Mm -hmm. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Okay, I'll do that. And you can do this on the roller coaster game as well. I'm going to reference the roller coaster game a little bit, but you can do this on a roller coaster where you can do these first person views. See, now wow. this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. You can also get this view That's of an animal scary. by simply double clicking on it. That's scary. What if he busted up in your crib, though? Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. Ooh. I've marked their location for you to find. What if you woke up in the morning and this dude was just standing over you, staring at you? Woo! Sweet Jesus. Woo! Lord. All right, all right. So where are we going next? She said, let's head over to the lion habitat. So let me zoom out some. All right, here we go. Here we go. Panthera Leo Leo, or the West African Panthera lion. Leo Leo. 
Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Hmm. Although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome. <laughs> Which is precisely why I handle the training instead these <laughs> days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to our oh warthog habitat and see what needs doing there. I'm a lion. I'm a lion. Y'all know I'm a lion. Hit me raw. You're gonna hit me raw. As you can see, it's a <laughs> lovely space for warthogs, but it's missing a certain something. Okay. <laughs> well, two somethings. The warthogs. The warthogs. <laughs> So I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. Okay. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Okay. So open the animal market in the animal trading section. There we are. A pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just okay. click on them and select buy from the side menu. Normally the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The well, last thing you. I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Ha ha ha. Pish posh. Then she say bye and not adopt. I don't know. Look at that, they got the time. So 29 and 30 minutes for this tutorial. You say if you don't buy it in that time, you're shot. automatically shop. placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat. Which, okay. as it happens, you are. So <laughs> how about you move them into their new home? Okay. Now this select all where you can move them. This actually be glitching and wasn't working right when I was doing my franchise. I was trying to do that. It wouldn't happen. I had to do them individually. You click send the zoo. Cause I was like, why can't when I pick more than one? When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and mm -hmm. deliver them to your selected habitat. Okay. I've marked the trade center's location. So let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Okay, so we're gonna go to the trade center. Check out these caretakers. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. <laughs> of course, that. normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But the I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Right, let's get the warthog's habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, okay. basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat, and uh, enrichment. Okay. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up the animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Okay. Look at Pomba. Let's Ain't that Pomba? Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. You see the people over here looking and watching. I think they be pulling out their phones nowadays since phones is a thing. When he was a young warthog. When I was a young warthog. <laughs> All right, we're going to place this water and feed station. Okay, I'm going to place it over here since people are over here are watching. So they can see them feed. Water bowl, food trough. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Okay. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> that bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Okay, we're going to add a mud bath. Let's get muddy up in yeah. Oh, nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, I do, I do. our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and whatsips all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. Okay, so we are finna head to the ostrich habitat. Over near the hippos. Is this the hippos right here? That is the hippos. 
Hungry, hungry hippos. All right, let's go to the ostriches. Okay, job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. Okay. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. All right, we're going to add a habitat gate. Blam. Right. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so okay. we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, we gotta stay in this little area right here. <laughs> I got a little bit of sway to mine, Good but work. it's all cool. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Okay. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. Right, At least right. not without a stepladder. But seeing right. as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Okay. So select an area and swap out the brick for glass. Hold on, let's see. There we ah, go. Cool. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Mm -hmm. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. Mm. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. <laughs> Make sure you remember them. Okay, they want me to click it that way. All right, donation box. Let's put it right there. All right, you finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't yes, you yes. think? Yes, let's. Let's get four of them in here. All right, four ostriches. Ooh, a gold one. One of these ribbons are gold, silver. Okay. Bam. Let's purchase that. Bam. Let's purchase that. Bam. Let's purchase that. Bam, bam. Let's purchase that. Hey. Okay, and now we want to go here, select them all, send to zoo. While we wait for them to bam. be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. Okay. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Okay. So you just gonna let me do it on my own this time, huh? You ain't gonna help me queue it up or nothing. They ain't even tell me how to rotate. I had to learn on my own. <laughs> Protesters have arrived at my zoo. Protesters are come. <laughs> I'm mad at how you treating the animals or whatnot. Okay, and this slow feeder thing. We'll put this on this side. Bam. Yes. Oh, good to see. Brian's objectives, baby. They can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Wow. Oh, oh heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> Look at the ostriches. Well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Wow. Did he do his speed camera joke? Every time we get an ostrich. So, now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better, hey, let's ostriches. do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Okay. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals. So they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. Uh, I'm not sure which one I should choose. They got two. These like kind of custom prefabby classic. Oh, Planet Zoo. Well, we'll go to Planet Zoo. One. And where do you want this? Okay, right here. So let's zoom in a hair, a smidge. Let's rotate it around. She didn't tell us how to rotate, but again, I figured it out. 
All right, we're going to put that right there. This keeper hat only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hat can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Okay. Oh, but bear in mind that keeper hats and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Mm. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness negatively. <laughs> okay. In case that wasn't. Gotta remember that because it's the truth. Something that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hat. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Okay. Now, I don't know if they did this whole like transformer hat thing uh, in this manner. Uh, where is power? Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Okay. Like instead of having a, a power system or not requiring this at all, or even a way, you know, a way to run power lines around so you can make sure everything gets power from one central place. You got to put these things around and it's like an irritant. It's a way to make sure that you got to put them in the right way so that your guests don't Lovely word. get negatively now affected the keepers by can them. start using the hat to prepare food. And thanks to where you put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Okay. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. Bengal tigers. We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. Yeah. Righty. Your next job is to build a habitat from scratch. Uh oh. Land, wood, and concrete. From scratch. I <laughs> so go ahead and build it. And don't forget the habitat gate. It's always best to place the habitat gate close to the keeper hut. As it happens, there's one quite near to the trade center. Um, oh, okay. And make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. I guess they mean over here. Is that the keeper hut symbol? Oh, I think this is it. I don't forget. I don't know. I don't know. She said make sure the tigers. Are. I don't know. Whatever. All right, so we're gonna start right here. I'm using this brick one. I. Uh, I get. And we're gonna do all glass, concrete. I'm going to do all glass. I'm going to see what this looks like. See what this looks like. We're going to build this one all the way around the perimeter. Look, I'm already faulty. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to undo. I need to undo. Why is this thing right here? Okay, see it's glitching. It wouldn't it wouldn't change. So let me go back to the habitat. The barrier. The glass. Here we go. Yeah, again, it's still beta. They still working out a few little bugs. A few little bugs here and yeah. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Work with me. I know we got a lot going on. Let me come from this angle. Let me come from this angle. Let's zoom it in a smidge. Okay. Ah, that's too much to curve. Uh, let me backspace. All right, so we gotta go on and curve it around. I like the sound effects. <laughs> they really did that good. Oh man, I know I'm supposed to be curving. What I'm doing, y'all? Delete that. Got to get your curve on earlier. Okay, connected there. There we go. Let me angle it up a little bit more so we can kind of see. See the mechanic over there? What you doing, mechanic? Or you hope you're doing some work. You on the payroll. Now, as you can see, even doing some things like this, although it's kind of simplistic, it takes time. So you can see how it's pretty easy to spend hours building and, and customizing and configuring your habitats and, you know, with your animals and such. 
Okay, it automatically snaps. They definitely worked on this because sometimes it was a little more difficult to get them to snap on the uh, the planet coaster. Okay, add a habitat. Okay, so we gotta add the gate now. And we're gonna put it on this side because that's the side near the keeper. Now, Bernie Good. takes safety very seriously at his zoos. He so does. we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? <laughs> tigers jump out. The way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Okay. Okay then. You should start by double clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Okay. Great. Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. We you can do that perimeter. by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Now you've okay. got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. Okay. You'll want to make sure it reaches a minimum height of four meters. Four meters. We did that. Okay, that's the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. I think Tiger's it's time we adopted 000. those tigers. People love the tigers. It's female, male. And we're gonna go ahead and add them to this exhibit. Select all. Send the zoo. First, our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers. Let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. Okay. We'll start with the basics. Food. Add a suitable feeding station for them. We got the food tray. Since it look like people will be coming from over this way because it's kind of fancy, we're going to put the food tray on this side. So this time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice refreshing So you drink. can terraform the land There's right here. There's a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. Okay. Yeah, so you can terraform the land. You can make it huge. You can make the mountain 50 feet high. You can make it 50 feet deep. And then you can fill it with water when you do make it deep. So, Yes, that'll do nicely. Bam. Of course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? So we're gonna add some toy and food enrichments to the habitat. This is the food enrichment. I'm gonna put this over here so people can see that. And here's the toy enrichment rubbing pad. Let's turn that around. Turn your love around. Okay, that's an employee path, so people can't walk on that. So I'm gonna make sure to put this all on this side. So we'll turn that and bam. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. It is though. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests. Okay. Or more likely the bad weather. Although given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Bits and bobs. All right, so here's a shelter. We're going to put this down. Downtown, where the air is. Since the people can't really go on this side, we're going to put it here. And let's make sure we can see. Okay. Blank. Oh, poor dabs. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Okay. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Okay. Rightio. Habitat. Click on the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and Plants. see how they feel about the different types of terrain. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Okay. Less okay, grass. Then. Open the terrain editing tool, select painting, more and give soil. them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. We'll do soil light. 
and we're gonna paint in some of this grass. Oh, again, you see the customization level of this game? Right then. All animals need plants and trees from their own biome or continent. You know, deserts, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of thing. It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. To get a perfect fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. Okay. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. Now, as you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like mm -hmm. the wattle bushes. You can remove them if you want. So the wattle and the You can find all of the plants you need in the nature section, and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you want to see. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. So I'm finding the wattle. Okay, here's the wattle bushes, and those aren't suitable. You see he he running through that foliage though. They be creeping through so they can jump on somebody. Okay, hawthorn bush. Uh, maybe that one tree I deleted, I shouldn't have deleted, but we're going to replace it. Let me go back to the tiger. Environment. Okay, they all gone. Yeah, I did delete one that was, that was ready. Tropical temperate grassland. So you can filter by the biome. Tropical temperate grassland. Bam. Now the coconut palm. Let's put a coconut palm in here and see how they like that. Yeah, they cool with that. They cool with that. We'll put a couple over here by the water. Yeah, yes, we will. This is by Boa Tree. Oh, this tree is huge. This tree is huge. All right, we're going to put this tree over here on the side. Yo, that really bumped it up with that huge tree. Let's put a little foliage. Let's move this. A few more planty plants. Let's put a few plants around the tree here. Have them kind of growing out the tree. Uh, coconut palm. We'll put a few of those. Okay. Oops. That one. That one's in the air. Now, Control Z does work. Put a couple of those around here. Bam! Bam! <clears throat> bang, bang, bang! They say the good fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> Still, those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. <laughs> right. Let's head over to the Indian peafowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. Okay. Now, this is the gold one. I'm going to go ahead. I kind of want to stop, but I'm going to go ahead and go. It's, it'll be a little bit longer. Just find one we're going to finish it up. And select them to open their information panel. What's then up, we can have peafowls? A good gander at how they're doing. Look at these Although, people. technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. <laughs> the gandering would be Expand for geese. Expand their social welfare, and we can get a bit more detail. Okay. Right, as you can see, the peafowls need their population to be larger. Okay. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Okay. Well, off you pop to the animal market. I'm doing it, shouted. Okay, we ordered uh, them. Now, they've clearly got plenty of space and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Okay. Good work on those peafowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. Yes, yes. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. Oh, well, she was trying to say that the adult population is only at two. So this little line is where you're actually at, which is one. And this is where you need to get it to with many more. Sometimes it's hard to read this, but I had to kind of figure that out. So it's only one here, so... Now that I've ordered it, she's acknowledged that the dude gonna drop them off. So now we trying to find the snow leopards. Here we go. 
Snow leopards. Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. Oh, cool. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. And the cave. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. Privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barriers for one-way glass. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? Mm -hmm. This will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when Where they want to it? get away from the prying eyes of the guests. I don't even see the snow leopard at all, though. Oh, okay, he right here chilling. Oh, he's asleep. He knocked out. Look at the little snow leopard. What's up, that snowy? What's up, that snowy? What are you doing? What if he just jump out at you? Snowy the snow leopard. I know that's right. Okay, so we got to replace the section with one-way glass. That way, the as she said, they don't see the people looking at them. So let's holler at barrier. One way glass. Uh did it automatically do it? I really don't know. Is this already one way glass? I'm not sure if this is working or not. Oh, 75%. Okay, 65%. One-way glass, one-way glass. Is it work? I am not sure that this is actually working. Let me uh, let me do the little wraparound trick. Hold on, let me see how far we want to go. We're gonna go to there. This is where all the glass is. One-way glass. Okay, I don't know if that's working or not. I did what she asked. So now I'm gonna open this temperature view mode. Uh, I'm not even sure where you find that at. Temperature view mode, temperature view mode. I don't even know where to, oh, right here. Okay. Replace shelter barrier section with one-way glass. Maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe it didn't do it. Okay. I don't know if this is working or not. It's, it's getting on my nerves at this point. Like, this side is one way glass, but this side isn't, and it's not doing anything. It's not replacing it. Let's try this again, cause I, maybe it's glitching or something. Oh, I'm in the wrong place, totally. So this glass right here, within the little cave, of they course, when replace. an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Okay. And surprisingly, for the snow leopards, it's it's too hot, even with the terrible British weather. You should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. Like this. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. Okay. I opened the temperature heat map, but oh, we got to turn it on. As you can see, we okay. already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Okay. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. Mm, okay. Any part of the habitat is powered, the whole will be powered. Okay, cool. Good to know. All right. Put it there. Um, we'll put it there. Hopefully, this is all going to overlap. 
You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things, so do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. It'll take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters. It's adjusted, but no. now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. Okay. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock, so let's make that happen. Alright, uh, let me get out this heat map. The lepers want snow and rock, so let's go to terrain. We're going to add some rock. Well, let me actually click on them first so I can see it in real time. So you go to terrain. They want less of that grass, more rock, more snizzle. Uh, that's part of the glitch, too. You got to click over here and then click back to terrain and pass them time. It won't pop up. But again, it's early beta. It's early beta. All right, so rock. Let's see. This all looks like tall grass, so we're gonna eliminate all of this. And eliminate all of this. We got enough rock, but we still haven't knocked the grass down to the level that we want. Okay, that's the long. Okay, where is more long grass at? Oh, I, I guess even the stuff on the perimeter that, or even on the outside, people can see. Cause I really don't see any more long grass. Like, where is this long grass at? Is the stuff outside of the barrier? Okay, so now we're gonna go to soil because um, I got rock and soil. All right, we're gonna go to snow. Well then, all of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. Okay, so I'd cool. like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. Okay. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing mm -hmm. in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. Okay. As you can see, this list shows you the animals' overall welfare. So, if something's amiss, then you can quickly pop over to them using the locate button. Right, I'm off for a cuppa while you make sure all the animals are well looked after. Okay, so let's see this lion. Let's see if we can figure out what will make him more happier. Actually, let's go to this wolf. Because they got the lowest. Actually, these lemurs are the lowest. We're going to holler at this ringtail lemur. Let's see why the ringtail lemur is not happy. Okay, so the terrain is good. The environment is okay. It ain't great. Why are you not happy, ringtail lemur? Got the rubbing pad. I mean, everything is positive. Why isn't this? Oh, cause I didn't click on the lemur. Okay, I'm about to say. Okay, it's the cleanliness. How do I fix cleanliness? Okay, I'm gonna call the keeper. That should fix his cleanliness. But terrain. So let's go to terrain, grass short. They need less short grass and more soil. So if we just do soil, if we do soil, it should take out a lot of the short grass by proxy. So we just gonna keep adding the short grass all over the place. And okay, cool, cool, cool. So they should be happy now. So let's go back and let's look at the ring-tailed lemur. Your habitat should be good, son. Oh, other than the cleanliness. And I think dude in here cleaning it right now. Alright, but that made him happier. So let's try another animal. Let's see. Oh, snap. The hippopotamus escaped. 
boxed outside of habitat for too long a time and then it escaped in lockdown for a long time. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Unbox the animal. And can I send you back to the to the trading post? Oh snap. He he's mad. He ain't got no destination. He ready to get out of there. Why they doing that man like that? And I can't even unbox him. Like ain't nothing I can do. My bad, son. Nothing I can do. I done everything I can, and I can't do nothing for you, man. So we gonna head to the Timberwolves. Evidently, the the demo got that hippopotamus locked up like that for a reason. Ain't none of my business. Ain't none of my business. Okay, so enrichment. He needs food enrichment and toy enrichment. So let's look at the habitat. And let's look at the, this is the Timberwolves. Timber! <laughs> all right, so, okay, so toys. We're gonna put all these out here. Cardboard box, chew toy, uh, dog ball. We'll put some of this near where people view from. What do the people view? Okay, they right there. So dog ball, prey, snack, small ball. We just putting stuff everywhere. Water sprinkler. Alright. Oh, you good now, huh? You good now, huh? <laughs> Threw the box around. Okay, so cool, cool, cool. So let's see now. Let's see for the objective. 76. Okay, we're up to 76. We need 80. Uh, okay. We'll go to the lion then. Oh, no, no, these zebras. We'll holler these zebras, see if we can fix them. If we fix one, it should fix all of them. Okay, so the habitat is ugly terrain, okay. Grass, more short grass, more long grass, less soil. All right, so let's go to grass. And let's paint this around. Let's do some long grass as well. Okay, we meeting the long grass requirement. Let's go back to the short grass. We'll paint over here some. Okay, let's see, soil. Still need less soil. Come on, soil. Help me out here now. Doggone it. All right, we met the soil requirement. Uh, but let's go back to the long grass. There we go. There they go. There they go. There they go. Uh. Okay, so they should be a lot happier now. Now let's go holler at the lions. We coming to holler at your lions. Yeah, guys, make sure you like. Make sure you like, man. And make sure you subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more and we build a custom zoo. I don't know if you want to see us build a custom zoo. Oh, there was some enrichment I could have added. Food enrichment. Food enrichment. Let's go to the lions. Uh, I forgot what these are. Tiger. What is It's a certain type of lion. West African lion. Okay. So, the frozen blood joint. That's food. Rubbing pads, sprinkler, scratching post, cardboard box, 
All right, cool, 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 cool. So plants. Okay, we need more plants. Uh, wattle bush bracken, we can get rid of those. Let's get rid of these. Bracken. Sudanese frankincense tree. Nice. Okay, so these wattle bushes, I guess they still recognize these even though they're outside the pen. Or maybe it's only the ones that cut through the glass. Let's look now and see if they're still affected by that bush. Because there's still some out there that's just not cutting through the glass. Oh, look at the little cub. Okay, plants. And even this is supposed to say something and let you know what it is, but it's not doing it because it's part of the glitch. The same way that gives you a little pop-up, it's supposed to do it right there with coverage, but it is not. Bracken one. So there are five of them. Wild bush. Two. Uh, I'm gonna just delete all these three. Okay, that did help some. One, two. Where are they at? I can't find these other ones. Sudanese frankincense umbrella thorn. Let's make a copy of that. Let's make a copy of this umbrella thorn. And let's see how you feel. How you feel, man, is really how you feel. Now the coverage is here, so does that mean it needs to be less? Let's see what happens if I delete this. Let's see what happens if I delete that and go back. Uh, okay, so I need to just delete more of these. Hey, I think he just did his business right here. They be doing their business. Look at that. Poo. Poo. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's too much coverage. So I need to just delete these. Check this out. Check this out. Let's see how he feeling now. Yeah, he was like, there's too many plants, son. Okay, Bracken 1 is two of them. I'm not seeing these brackens though. But that's a wild bush. Not bad. Yeah, we did I think that. It's fair to say that you we did the that. Part hey. of your training with flying colors. Go star There's baby. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? Hey. All right, guys, so we did that. We did the whole tutorial. Sounds like you've got the whole zoo purring away nicely. I do. Well, I do. Purring, grunting, screaming, booming. <laughs> All the uh, appropriate noises. Let's see if you shake I guess the I was right to hire you, huh? <laughs> and don't tell her I told you, but Nancy wasn't sure you'd even last the morning. <laughs> so we're happy this is working out. And Nancy owes me a foxy coffee. <laughs> Funny. As strange as it seems, considering we just met, when I look at you, I feel like you're the child I never had. Word. After the one I did have, obviously. But you see, zookeeping's not for my daughter. Don't get me wrong. Emma absolutely loves animals, but she set her sights somewhat higher. Mm -hmm. Wants to save the entire planet. I'll just settle for saving a couple of species. <laughs> and maybe having a type of frog named after me. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. So, and you can see the people. They actually come in in groups. They made them in groups, so you can look at them as a group or separately, which is really cool. You got families with kids. Like, and like I said, a lot of this was originated in the Planet Coaster, but they, uh, they of course, brought it in. They get this game, same engine, uh, dual purpose. So, yeah, man, look at this. This reminds you of when you in D.C., right near the White House. Yeah. <laughs> they got the gorillas up here. That's the restroom. 
I mean, you can get so custom. And I mean, all of these are pieces. Like, this isn't one full building. These are pieces broken up, okay? So you could dismantle all of this piece by piece. You can save the whole thing as a blueprint. Like, it's so dope. Areas for people to eat. You know, with the with the benches. I mean, amazing game. Just, just beautiful. It's just beautiful. So, guys, all right, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Hit me in that comment box. Hit me in that comment box. Let me know what you think about Planet Zoo, all right? And let me know if you want to see a series. I'm going to do a whole series on it. I'm going to probably do it anyway, but I want to hear your opinion, all right? Because, again, if you play it or if you get it and you start designing, you're a great designer, I can use your creations in zoos. You know what I'm saying? Try to grow a huge zoo. And, uh, yeah, 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 use content created by the people. So that is what's up. Am I back by the lines? I'm not trying to see you no more lines. So, again, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Share this so others can check this out. Let me know what you think about Planet Zoo in general. I think it's an amazing game. And the level of detail that you can build with is just phenomenal. It's just outstanding, all right? So, hit me in the comment box. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share. Charles Macro, Planet Zoo. Thank you for stopping through. And I'm going to holla at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the I run.